Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'm here to tell you about the new play mode in Dorico 4. Play mode has been completely rewritten for Dorico 4 to make it easier to use, more responsive, and equipped as a strong foundation for the future. Tracks can now be muted or soloed easily, and the track regions show a thumbnail of the music, as will be seen in the key editor. Tracks can be resized to help you fit more or fewer on screen at once. Clicking on the ruler sets the playhead position and dragging down and up on the ruler zooms in and out. As well as giving an overview for an entire flow, tracks are a way to select an instrument for specifying routing and other settings. And routing and those other settings are now found in the track inspector to the left of the tracks view. The top section allows you to set the routing for the selected instrument track. Choose a VST or MIDI instrument and the port and channel number. Access the endpoint setup dialog and the selected VST user interface. The VST rack is now found alongside the track inspector on the left side of the window. By default, Dorico will add the VSTs it needs to play back the instruments in your project, but you can also add your own. Use the endpoint setup dialog to configure and name them, and then easily choose the routing you need back in the track inspector. Independently routed voices are now easier to configure and keep track of thanks to a new interface. Turning on IRV for an instrument now shows as many individual tracks as there are voices, letting you select routing for each in turn. The track inspector also gives you an easy way to add insert effects to instruments. These effects can also be found in the insert section of the full mixer. And there's also the channel fader and pan for the selected instrument. At the top of the tracks view are the global tracks that can be shown and hidden with these buttons. The tempo track shows the tempo profile for the flow, including immediate changes of tempo and any gradual changes. When selected, you can also set the routing for the metronome click. The markers track shows existing markers and by pressing the add button, you can create a new one at the playhead position. The chords track displays chord symbols and when selected, allows you to set routing information to play the chords during playback. Play mode now has a lower zone that is home to the mixer and key editor for the selected track. You can find dedicated videos for both the new mixer and the key editor. The lower zone is resizable to give you the maximum amount of space to edit comfortably. While we're very excited to share this new play mode with you, there is much more to come that we are already working hard on, such as an editable tempo profile and a percussion editor. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up to let me know and subscribe to the Dorico channel right now to see much more like this. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.